I'm going to take you around uh, the new version of uh, XLC. It's XLC version 1009. Uh, and you can see there's some uh, new buttons on the toolbar and there's some new functionality. Uh, the first new button is this button here. It switches on and off the automatic equation redrawing uh, that within XLC. Now previously this was uh, on our uh, about XLC and settings form but I'm making it a lot easier now to switch on and off so it's on at the moment it's off now. Uh, now it is important if you are working with uh, very large amounts of data that you switch off the uh, automatic uh, equation redraw feature uh, because if there's lots of if lots of cells need to be checked in your spreadsheet to see if it's affected the display of an equation it can slow you down so i would say for you know, even up to hundreds and hundreds of uh, equations uh, it works fine but as soon as we get into thousands then it's going to start slowing you down so it's up to you you can it's much easier now to switch on and off uh, the automatic uh, uh, equation redraw uh, features within XLC. Now when it's switched off XLC just sits there it doesn't interfere with a normal operation of uh, uh, Excel in any way at all so uh, if you're if you're not making equations it's a good idea just to switch it off. Okay but I'm going to switch it back on because we're going to use some now I'm going to show off some new functionality. Uh, I'm going to show off first of all this functionality uh, and it's this is all about inserting table suffix tags now up until now uh, we've been able to display um, equations like this one here uh, or this one here where we, we, we will use our equation show feature to look uh, inside cell C6 and display uh, a formula and if we look inside cell C6 that's 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 what typically goes on uh, in in as we've used XLC up till now, but of course it being Excel, we will be using a lot of tabulated data. So I've extended the functionality of XLC uh, so that we can uh, show. Let's say uh, if I wanted to uh, see how this was calculated, I'm going to just show you how to do that. So as I mentioned, what I need to do first of all is name a column. So I'm going to name a column there, and then I come and come back to our new button here. I'm going to tag these uh, pieces of text uh, with a tag, so that they will become uh, suffixes to equation names. Let me show you what I mean. Let's try an equation show, and let's see how we've calculated this value here. Okay. So when I press enter, uh, automatic uh, naming functionality is already on. So I can see that I've calculated uh, this by taking the ultimate stress uh, and multiplying by AM12. Now AM12 is A and M12 is across there. So I know exactly uh, how I've uh, produced that cell. So the this a with the addition of this equation suffix is a reference to a position in a table uh, and it's but it's still displayed in a nice uh, mathematical formula and I think it, it, it leaves the equations quite readable so the kind of thing we could do if we wanted to interrogate say this value here let's just uh, display it down there uh, 57989 and if we go EQS I'm going to show what that number is Okay, it's F uh, M10, that's that number there. Now, if I then want to show the equation of how F M10 has been calculated, I can also do this. So, uh, we can construct uh, uh, statements like this and equations to show uh, how we've used these values. If we have um, uh, if we want to include any of these in a formula, we can we can certainly do so. So now, if let's put in a formula, uh, 100 uh, plus. If I can just find my plus, there we go. Plus uh, this value. 
Okay, and I want to show that. Okay, there we have it. So we're taking values from tables, we're determining, determining a sensible name uh, for the value from the table and inserting it into an equation. And it helps to uh, explain uh, how tabulated values are, are calculated and it's quite a, a useful addition. Uh, just some other functionality I want to uh, introduce is this functionality here. It's a number stroke algebra switch. So at the moment we have uh, these cells here uh, showing uh, algebraic values. But if I uh, just give a little uh, switch on there, I'm toggling these equations between the algebraic and their number values. So there we have it. We've got some nice new functionality in XLC uh, version 10.09. Uh, we can work quite effectively now with tables uh, and we have a much faster switch for um, toggling algebraic and numeric display of equations. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope you enjoy using the new version of XLC.